the Phoenix Suns went in on day one of free agency, signing a bunch of quality role players who will help the bench next season. And though the signings of Eric Gordon, Drew Eubanks, and especially sharpshooter Yuta Watanabe may get more attention, Keita Bates Diop may have been the biggest steal in the Suns free agency. I really love this signing from the Suns and they got the former San Antonio Spur on a two year $5 million deal. 6'8 with a 7'3 wingspan, Keita Bates Diop is a quality wing who provides finishing at the rim, a bit of 3 point shooting, and versatile defense. Keita is 27 years old and last season he averaged 9.7 points, 3.7 rebounds, and 1.5 assists on 60% true shooting in 21 minutes a game. Diop was a quality finisher of the Spurs last season, capitalizing on shots at the rim, and according to Cleaning the Glass, he shot 69% at the rim at a 46% frequency. Diop can operate as a screen and slipper to the rim, as well as a cutter, can really make himself available when the defense is collapsing. Another area Kato really shines at is attacking mismatches in the post. This ability should help in lineups where KD Booker is on the floor. Diop is good at sealing mismatches in the post and quickly attacking. He operated at a 6.7% frequency in the post and ranked in the 90th percentile. He had a field goal percentage in the post at 70%, proven to be effective when operating down there. Keita also is a big time threat as a putback option. He can lurk around the boards and be active putting missed shots back in. He operated at a 7.9% frequency in this category and ranked in the 96th percentile shooting 73% on putback shots. Expect Keita's role on the Suns to revolve around cutting, screening, and attacking mismatches down low with his size and strength. He also shows capability of the ball in his hands attacking downhill, whether if this is off of a closeout attack or him working with the ball in his hands. He has a solid handle for a wing and at times he can bring the ball up himself. He's not shifty by any means or can create shots, but he is pretty controlled with his dribbles and looks capable attacking on straight line drives to the rim where he can get his body into a defender and finish. And with his straight line drives, he also flashes some passing skills being able to locate an open teammate. Keita's biggest swing skill that will make this deal even more of a steal is his 3 point shooting. He shot 39% but on low volume, only attempting around 2 threes a game. It's a percentage that looks promising but would like to see if he is able to keep the same percentage on more 3 point attempts, at least 5 to 6. Last season was the first time in his career where he shot over 35% from 3. If he can hit catch and shoot 3's at a consistent rate, it could open up the possibility of a starting role. The San Antonio Spurs were not a good defensive team last season, but they really trusted Keita as one of their defensive wings last season. He was reliable for them. Defensively, he has a lot of potential to do some good with this Suns team. Versatile, he can affect shots at the rim or jump shots with his long arms. He isn't by any means a lockdown defender, but he is a pretty smart defender, giving effort, fighting over screens, chasing players around, closing out to shooters, defending in isolation, and being physical defending bigger players. He offers defensive versatility, being able to defend guards and bigs and be switchable in a scheme. Keita on the Suns provides them the ability to play him in a variety of lineups, bigger lineups, smaller lineups, and he fits into a switching scheme. He's not the most fluid athlete, he often defends in a wide stance shading the offensive player to a spot, and he can be choppy with his footwork defending, but still remains solid defending at the point of attack, really uses his length to contest anything put up. He also has some active hands being able to deflect shots, he had a total of 94 deflections on the season, and he also gives you solid rim protection, a guy who can lurk around the weak side or near the paint and challenge shots vertically. Keita Bates Diop showcased growth last season with the Spurs, he earned his spot in the league through his defense, but his offensive improvements really made him a contributing NBA player on both ends. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more breakdowns like these. I cover players, teams, offensive and defensive schemes, and just all around analyzing the X's and O's of the game. With all that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.